Korea. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. So it's day, uh, I don't know, 20 something in quarantine. <laughs> so you guys can see the title of this video. You know what it's going to be about. Um, I am really so interested in doing this and now is the perfect time because we're in quarantine. So before we get into this video, I want to let you know that there is going to be a part two to this because right now I'm going to be going through all of my products and ditching and tossing out the products that have harmful chemicals and harmful ingredients in them. Um, then there's going to be a part two to this that is going to be like good, clean, natural brands that I am using and loving and things that I recommend to you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. There will be a part two. I also have a handful of links that are really important down in the description bar that I think that you guys should check out. I will be talking about the documentary that I watched called Toxic Beauty. I will have that link down below in case you guys want to watch it as well. Um, a few uh, articles and websites for resources that I read and found extremely helpful um, and it'll just give you guys like more insight and information that I don't even have time to like say in this video. Um, and also the two apps that I use to scan products that like rate the product and rate the ingredients in the product and explain all of the ingredients and I mean it's just it's an amazing resource. I've used those two apps for years, Think Dirty, Buy Clean, and then the EWG. So I'll have those linked down in the description as well. Um, as well as anything else that I think that could be beneficial and important, I will link that down below for you guys. I think this topic is so, so important and it's something that we really need to think about what we're putting um, on our body, in our body, and around our body, and in our homes with our babies, our families, our pets. Um, gosh, it's just, it's so important. So this is something really to think about. Do your research, like educate yourself, toss out bad products, buy better products, um, and just be like smart and careful. So yeah. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, we are holding a giveaway very, very soon once we reach 100,000 on this um, channel, which we are super excited about. I also have a blog that is like my baby. I put so much time and effort into it, so check that out if you haven't already. Um, I will have my Instagram and like my Facebook and all of my handles and links for my social media down in the description. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see daily updates. That is where I update you guys and chat with you guys the most. So definitely follow me on there and check out my blog. I will be doing a blog post um, surrounding this whole clean beauty uh, topic as well that'll have a lot of different information. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned. Turn on the notification bell for this channel if you haven't already so you never miss anything. And okay, let's get right into this video. <laughs> Okay, so just a little side note here. Like four or five years ago, I started to make the switch to cleaner beauty, cleaner bath and body products, cleaner personal care, even like household cleaners. Um, I thought I was making good decisions on like cleaner brands. But then, last night, I watched the documentary called Toxic Beauty, and I will have the link down below. I highly suggest you watch it. It is insane, it is mind-blowing, it's frightening, it's scary, and it's so sad, but it's the only way that you're really gonna know the truth about things, and you're gonna be aware, and you're gonna, like, know really what is happening and what what is in products that you are buying on a day, like, <laughs> buying and using on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so yeah, I'll have it down below. Please watch that, it's so important, and there's a lot of really good information in that documentary. Um, it's just, it's a lot, go watch that. Um, the two apps that I use for scanning products that I've used for years are the Think Dirty Buy Clean app and then the EGW um, Healthy Living. Think Dirty uh, Buy Clean is probably my favorite. There's over 1.5 million products in their database. You can like scan any barcode with or scanner here um, and it'll automatically bring up that product if it's in their database if it's not you can take a, a photo of it and like submit it to them and they'll do it you can also just like search up here there's different categories and then you can search any product um, let's just do something under like hand wash it'll bring up suggestions too um, but this is pretty much what it looks like we'll just like click on the first one that comes up this isn't anything that I've scanned or anything and I don't even know what this brand is. But just to give you a example, it lists all the ingredients, it rates the ingredients, rates the product overall, and then you can click on any one of these ingredients and it'll give a breakdown of what it is, the health impacts, explanations, and like all of these sources. So um, I highly suggest that I've used this for years and I know a lot of people do too. So for me, I always knew there were a few ingredients that you just like stayed clear from and if any product had those ingredients, you just didn't buy them. 
Um, but after watching Toxic Beauty, they listed um, a few more like toxic ingredients that really pose a huge uh, health threat. Um, and this can be anywhere from like your hormone disruptions to birth defects to reproductive health issues to cancer. And it's like super scary stuff. Um, just like huge toxicity levels because these ingredients are toxic to you. So um, the documentary listed out a few more ingredients to watch out for. Um, I'll leave the links down below to the website as well as the link for the documentary. I will also link a few articles and web pages that I read that I found super helpful. Um, so just familiarize yourself with some ingredients that just are not very good or clean or safe. Um, so, <laughs> there's a, definitely a lot to learn, but you won't know until you do your research and you like find out for yourself, so be sure to do that. Alright, so for products that have harmful ingredients that I'm tossing, I'm putting them in this tote to throw away in the trash later. For products that I can't find, that I need to do more research on, I am putting them in this basket before I make a final decision. I also want to say that not every single product is going to be on those two apps, but um, typically if you look at any product on the back or sometimes even on the front they have the listed ingredients if they don't then it will be listed on the products website you should be able to go to like any brand website find the product and then there should be an ingredient tab so there's a few different ways that you can find the ingredients and then I just wrote down in my notebook you can also just like write a list in your phone of things that you'll need to find alternatives for so say like you throw out like I don't know your favorite like mascara or something then you'll need to find another healthier safer mascara so whatever I just need to find healthy alternatives for I'm just gonna jot it down on this list um, and then I will be doing research and like shopping later so that would be fun but I'm gonna keep this handy so all right I think we have our system down I also just want to say that I'm using my best judgment on these things some things I will be using up before I purchase more and some things I'm literally just like tossing them out in the trash even if they're like all the way full or if I just like bought it so just use your best judgment here um, look at the ingredients and like find out what those ingredients do especially on the think dirty app or like Google is amazing because everything is right at the touch of our fingertips the tip of our fingertips so use Google if you don't know something so I'm gonna start in my makeup bag. This is my everyday makeup. <laughs> and um, then I'll be going through all my drawers and doing all my cosmetics. I'll be doing all my hair care items and personal items, all the bath and body products, everything in my shower, and then even some household cleaners and stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna speed through this so it's not forever long and it's easier to watch. And I will be popping in throughout the video and just kind of giving bits of information about like certain products and just keeping you guys in the loop of where I am with my progress so all right so I hope this motivates you guys and helps you guys and I'm excited to do this let's get started so here I'm going through all my cosmetics from the primers to the foundations bronzers blush concealer eyeshadow, brow products, mascara, setting sprays, literally all of it. And I will have a few websites down in the description that will have ingredients and cosmetics to really watch out for. Those are going to be the ingredients and the products that have those ingredients that you're going to want to toss out. So be sure to check out the description because a lot of those chemicals I can't even pronounce so I'm not even going to try to. <laughs> I'll just have it down below for you guys to look at. Okay, so I still have a lot to go through, but I wanted to tell you doing the talk to text option makes this go by so much faster. I'm comparing what the Think Dirty Bike Clean app has compared to the same ingredients that are on the brand's website. Just to make sure everything is accurate and the same because I know sometimes brands change up their ingredients. 
Um, also, like for example, I'm trying to look up an eyeliner right now and I can't find it on the app, so I went to the brand's website. I don't even know what this ingredient is, so I'm just gonna copy it and paste it and look up on Google. Um, I'm just gonna have to find out what some of these ingredients are just by like looking them up. Right on Google takes two seconds. So just a few tips there. So here's everything in the tote so far. Things that are just either old, expired, or have harmful ingredients that I needed to toss. Everything in this basket are things that I still need to do more research on and look at ingredients that I'm just really not sure yet before I make a final decision. But other than that, everything is completely gone through and all my drawers, this is all my makeup I've gone through. Now we're gonna move on to hair products. Okay, so now we're in the bathroom and here you see me throwing away all of my aerosol cans. I did not realize how terribly bad aerosol cans are, whether that's hair products, sunscreen products, or household products. I literally throw out all the aerosol cans and I will leave a few uh, resources and links down below in the description so you can read all about it. Okay, so my hair care is done and I have some of my lotions already gone through. This drawer is some of my skincare, not all of it, but just some. And then deodorants, not all of them, but also just some of them. So we're gonna go through everything that is in here next. All right, next we are doing all of the products in the shower. And then next it's gonna be like household cleaners and disinfectants. And all, all right, here's the tote so far with the beauty and cosmetics hair care lotions and like bath and body products holy crap it's like halfway full so far and we still have more to go okay now the lighting just got super weird because i'm now in my kitchen where i have all of my like disinfectants and cleaners and everything and that is going to be the next um thing that we're going through which i think i'm the most nervous for because there's a lot of like aerosol cleaners um, and just typically a lot of uh, disinfectants and cleaners have like strong chemicals in them. So I feel like there's gonna be a lot going out of this category. Okay, are you guys ready to see everything that I have in this tote that I am ditching in the trash? There's so much in here. Holy crap, I can't believe I had this many products filled with harmful ingredients and chemicals. It's gonna feel so dang good to throw all this in the trash. <laughs> Here is everything. Oh my gosh, isn't this insane? This is a huge tote. It's probably like two feet tall and it is almost filled to the very top with a bunch of products in every single category. And I still have this little basket here on some things that I still have to make final decisions on. I have to get on my website and like look at the ingredients that are in some of these products. So I still have all had to go through, but wow, I am so blown away. This feels so dang good to do. And I'm so excited to throw all that crap away. Oh, hi! Look at what we're getting rid of! Okay, wow, I am finally done. But honestly, that was so therapeutic and just nice to sit down and go through everything and then toss out all the nasty crap filled products. And I'm really excited because I get to go shopping for some new, fun, healthy, and safe uh, products. So stay tuned for part two because I will be sharing all of my finds. Um, be sure to check out the description for the documentary and all the articles and links and the resources that I'll have down below so that you can do this effectively yourself at home with all of your products. Um, I just want you guys to be as safe as you can and make the best decisions that you can, so make sure to check out all of those resources down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on the notifications for this channel so you never miss anything. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it helps out so much. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope this motivates you guys and helps you when it comes to being a safe and smart consumer. <laughs> I will see you guys very soon in a brand new video. Bye. Ugh. All right, to Lou. This thing is heavy. Come on, muscles. Oh my gosh. You seeing stars? Ugh. And don't. Don't lose it. Very proud of you.